So guys, I went viral on TikTok. I'm not sure if you noticed or anything or, or saw some of my posts, but I got more views on TikTok in a video post than what the Kardashians get, than what David Dobrik gets, than what Addison Rae gets, than what all these big major influencers get for video views. I just blew past them with a fishing related video. I, I can't fathom this folks. I mean, the Kardashians pr prance around in like little bikinis everywhere. That's not me. I can't do that to get views or, or anything like that. I don't think you guys would follow for that. Or would you? Somehow, my fishing video got over 30 million views and over almost 400,000 shares. <laughs> it's just mind-blowing. I can't fathom this, guys. This is just crazy. <laughs> so... If you haven't already, and you have a TikTok account, go over to TikTok and put in kayak DIY underscore channel. Um, if you put kayak DIY, it should pop up. But uh, go go check it out because I, I think we're like my phone's constantly getting notifications every second. It's like follow, 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 like, like, follow, comment, follow. I'm like my phone's like gonna end up killing itself from like all the notifications <laughs> that this video is driving. Um, it, it, I just, I, I, I literally went from being nobody on TikTok Future with like epic. zero, zero followers. And within like a week or less, I blew past a hundred thousand um, followers. And this, this video is just going crazy. So go check it out. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, thank you guys. I'll, I'm just going to leave it at that. I spent since 2013 on YouTube trying to grow a channel. And I accidentally become famous on TikTok somehow. Like, <laughs> I put all this work into YouTube. And I literally just threw a video onto TikTok. And it went <laughs> through the freaking roof. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm very happy, very, very happy, because um, it's gonna create some opportunities. Um, when you have a following, you can earn some revenue from that, and it's gonna allow us to do some really cool things. This month, we're gonna be um, helping out a family. Um, we're gonna give them all free kayaks and fishing gear and stuff. Um, this family is experiencing a health issue with one of their kids, and so it's almost like a make-a-wish type deal. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, we're, we're doing a lot of cool stuff with with the funds that come in through the channel. Um, and, and we still live in our same 1960s home. Um, you know, so uh, we don't need a lot of money to be happy. Um, but it's definitely going to create some opportunities. And that's what's really cool. So anyway, I just I wanted to have this genuine talk with you guys because um, th this this life that has been created is something that I can't quite comprehend. I mean, I started this out of my garage in Viberg, South Dakota, a small little town where I was working as a nurse and I was, you know, cutting some holes in a kayak and putting rod holders in it. And next thing you know, um, some people like you guys just started following the, the channel and you were commenting and engaging and we were having conversations and we grew a Facebook group all about the topic of kayaks and fishing and um, that got the attention of the kayak companies and the kayak companies contact me and then they said, hey, we want to give you some kayaks. We want to give you some money and just go have fun. Do something crazy with the kayaks. Do whatever you want. And so I did that. And next thing you know, we're moving to Florida and we bought a house sight unseen, which is the one that I'm in right now with all the chaotic toys because I have a two and a half year old, which is another adventure. And, uh, it's, and then I meet one of my best friends, Mike, who runs a channel called I hunt dead things. And next thing you know, he's, um, he's having me hunt for prehistoric mammoth bones. And then I'm going on excursions to find wild monkeys in Florida. 
And then I'm consulting on kayak designs with uh, big name companies. And I'm getting to travel and, and film. And then I become TikTok famous somehow, which I don't know how that happened. Literally, I was at iCast in Orlando trying to film kayaks and there wasn't many kayaks to be filmed because it was a smaller expo event this year due to COVID. Next thing you know, I'm uploading just kind of random little unique stuff and I upload this one fishing lure video and that video just apparently resonated with people and <laughs> it just the views I almost, if I had left the notifications on on my phone and I didn't try to like silence them, I would go crazy and my phone would literally run out of battery probably within an hour. It's just nuts. My phone's like going crazy when I have notifications on for TikTok because it's just every second there's probably 50 some engagements um, or like clicks or likes or follows. It's It's nuts. So anyway, this is a long video. I'm just, just, I'm just documenting this moment because I, I just want to share it with you guys. Um, that, that's that's the only reason. This video might not get many views, and that's that's okay. That's fine. But uh, I just found it funny tonight when I looked at the video that this video got more views than the Kardashians get on their videos, <laughs> and like some of these other big name people. Um, so like David Dobrik and whatnot, but anyway, take care. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what more to say, so we'll see ya.